I couldn't believe my friends and I could live in the same city and have such different experiences. If apartments aren't designed correctly, from the beginning, I'm burdened with asking for them to be made accessible. I'm seen as a problem or a nuisance for requesting something that is guaranteed to me by law. My neighbors at my apartment taunted me all the time because I'm transgender. I thought I could manage this, but then even the maintenance guy joined in and called me names that were really offensive. I didn't feel safe and I realized I just can't stay here. Where was I gonna live? My son and I were so excited. I'd gotten a new job and found a new home in a great neighborhood. Just when I thought things were coming together, the property manager denied my application based on his experiences with past voucher holders. <sighs> Back at square one. I have to go to some obscure location on the property, which usually requires me to travel down some vacant path like alleys or vehicle traffic lanes. At best, it's undignified or worst, unsafe. Being separated is never equal. I complained to the manager, but she didn't do anything. So I didn't have anyone who could help me. So I guess I found out the hard way that I didn't belong in this part of town. I have some hard decisions to make. I was really feeling alone and stuck. Trying to work this out by myself, that's when I knew. I needed to find help. I shared my story, and for the first time, someone listened and seemed to understand the challenges I was facing. I needed people to respect me and to listen to me. I needed to speak with someone who could take action. Now I know how housing discrimination affects us all. By sharing your story, you help to identify, investigate, and eradicate housing discrimination and create more inclusive, thriving communities for all. If you live in D.C., Maryland, or Virginia, and believe you have experienced housing discrimination, please contact the Equal Rights Center at 202-234-3062. There are many things to consider when finding a home. Discrimination shouldn't be one of them.